It's like this capture test. Do you feel feelings? Yes, I felt many feelings. <laughs> I felt three feelings today. Big feelings, small feelings. <laughs> Medium feeling. <laughs> All the feelings that you should feel. <laughs> Going to Gothenburg, um, I didn't. Uh, I was really bad at communicating with you. I feel because I was uh, uh, held up with the family a lot. But I, I was thinking about you a lot because I mean, going to Gothenburg, <laughs> you can't really not think about Glenn. Did you meet I, any? No, I didn't meet any. But I barely spoke to anyone local. But uh, we went past the Glenn Sports Bar. Oh, nice! Uh, and the photos? Uh, no, uh, oh, I didn't. I know, I know. I, I, I forgot to do it, and then we never came back to it. I tried to find it on Google Maps, but I didn't so far. <laughs> um, but then we, we also went on an ocean bus, you know, amphibious bus that yeah. you drive around. The, and that was, was called, of course, called Glen as well. Fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I know, I mean, they, they are. Gothenburg is famously dad joke central. When they name something, if it can be a dad joke, it is. <coughs> like the at the science museum we, we went to the first day, they have a big uh, circular uh, or spherical, I should say, uh, video uh, theater uh, cinema. That's the name, uh, and that's of course, of course, called the Wiss Dome. Oh, it's it's all bad jokes like that. that Everything. Sounds like the perfect place for me. Yeah, I think so. You should you should retire to Gothenburg, yeah. definitely. I like the idea of it though. It sounds great. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't want to uh, travel by car, because that's uh, it's not made for. I think they're 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 trying to make it so that people don't use their car because. The roads are not in any kind of logical fashion. It's yeah, rather we, terrible, actually. Uh, we went to Gothenburg two years ago for my 40th birthday and my sister's 30th. So our mother just invited us to a road trip down there and she paid for the weekend. And we just parked in a parking house outside of the city and then we just basically walked and because yeah as you said it's it's not car friendly at least not in the old town anyway so no do you need a car to get around there is it that big no that depends, depends on where you're going i mean as a, as a tourist basically being there for the weekend to eat and drink you're perfectly fine just hanging around in uh, the old city center so uh yeah you can evoke the most things, or otherwise you should take the tram because they're famous for their, their tram as well. And at, this, and at this point, I mean, it's bad to drive there on a good day. And it felt like they started 50 different construction jobs. Oh, no. And then, oh no, it's vacation. Everyone go home. So there's holes <laughs> everywhere. And they're, they're, yeah, there's a rerouting of traffic. And yeah, it was, oh, it was terrible. But uh, everything else was good with the with the ho- uh, holiday, uh, except for some in- instances of people being hangry. Uh, I think. You? Well, the worst one was the youngest because uh, even when he is hangry, he can't. He doesn't really uh, recognize that it will be cured if he eats something. So then he just refuses to eat, and everything gets worse. Oh, no. But yeah, I think all four of us at some point were guilty of being hangry. But yeah, That's, I might uh, have been the second worst. <laughs> Both my wife and I, I think we are equally bad there. We get extremely hungry, but we have now come to that point where we realize that. So it's like we were driving back home. Um, uh, last night, and then uh, of course, um, after five hours in the car, it's like, yep, let's uh, stop somewhere and get something to eat. And I'm like, yeah, but maybe we should. No, we're gonna eat now. And my wife, like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we need to eat now. <laughs> so it's like, uh, you know, when you know, 
<laughs> you should have some emergency crackers in the glove box or something like that. Where did I it made <laughs> Go on. that was before my uh, YouTube or uh, social media career, and uh, I actually I bought a lot of chocolate bars, and I just made new wrapper to them and Photoshop and everything, and just <laughs> spent the evening. And I call it road rage medicine. And I just <laughs> put it in my wife's car without telling her. And she just went to work one morning. And I was like, then I got a text message like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not only does she get hungry, but she also has uh, road rage. So that's a good combination. So yeah, when we're going on a road trip, we make sure that we know uh, we can stop and get something to eat every two hours. <laughs> we had an incident a couple of years ago. We were on Norfolk in Norfolk for a week on holiday, and it, it was getting late, and we were all ready for some food. And uh, we had the problem of what do you fancy? And I think Lily wanted pizza. What do you fancy? For that? I just fancy some traditional pub food. What about you, Shell? I want a curry. So, <laughs> well, we can't resolve this, so we, we we got a bit desperate and just stopped in at this pub, which managed to serve all three of those perfect <laughs> meals to us. It, we really just couldn't nice. have worked out any more excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you see in Gothenburg? Anyway, you you've been to an aquarium, and yeah, yeah. The first day was uh, at university. What's, what would be Universium? It's called uh, Universium. I mean, it's a combination of universe uh, and museum uh, because it's a science themed for kids. So it's got a big uh, big fish tank with sharks and all kinds of things and a oh, wow. tropical uh, thing that's like four floors high or something like that you can walk down to and have some floors with space and the human body and the chemistry lab and all that. So it was pretty fun. And on the second day, we went to uh, Schulerholm Slot, which is um, built in the early 1900s by an English family. And it was state of the art uh, techno technologically at, for 1900. Oh, so, okay. so they got electricity and, uh, and some running water. And I think they, they claimed that they had the first vacuum cleaner in Sweden, which oh, was wow. a big thing drawn by. A horse because of a big <laughs> cart. <laughs> horse just with a brush of its arse. <laughs> <laughs> you put it outside and, and put a hose in through the window. Right? <laughs> so it's a it's a big, beautiful, um, modern style British castle, more or less. Oh, fantastic! So I was going to say send send a link to Phil. Wasn't the one who was went to a shop whack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just think it's Turk, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, he as well. Yeah. yeah. You need the big horse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no horses can. You're yeah. probably better off getting a goat just to eat all the crap in his workshop. <laughs> I'll eat anything but the goats. <laughs> probably, probably. Well, and uh, the third day we went to Liseberg, uh, the amusement park, where it turned out that the oldest kid is a speed demon. Because he loved roller coasters as long as long as they weren't upside down ones, uh, <laughs> and he loved uh, riding one with me because I really hated the experience and he <laughs> loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was fun to ride it with him, but I really hated the roller coaster. So I was much more happy to hang out with the uh, the youngest of the kids and doing the 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 nice <laughs> slow. <laughs> Quiet. The old carousel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The old Ferris wheel. Yeah. Not roller coasters. <laughs> no, I don't like heights. I don't like speed. <laughs> so roller coasters are not made for me. <laughs> I do. I do like speed, but I need to be in total control of uh, both the speed and direction. Unless then get, speed is uh, much better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like too high speeds even then. Uh, let's not uh, keep our listeners waiting anymore, Glenn. You, you did. Oh, uh... I keep forgetting about these little. 
<laughs> you keep forgetting what you did five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> two days, KJ. Two days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Two days. <laughs> you had a plan. Yes, we were thinking about uh, setting up a WhatsApp group for the CMOs. So uh, we could uh, have a little group and we could all be in contact and message and stuff. Not that we would be on call all the time, but I uh, thought it might be a nice thing to do. Build the community a little bit. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think it's a great idea because, I mean, I I tend to... I mean, Instagram and YouTube are... It's not something I'm on all day. And I feel it's a lot of content I'm missing. And if someone isn't tagging me or messaging me directly, I probably miss it. Uh, but the WhatsApp groups I'm, in, I'm into, I'm... Uh, I'm. I, I feel like I, I actually see all the things that happens there, and I get a lot of information that way. So, <laughs> having your own little private uh, social media sounds really appealing to me. Yeah, but that well, it brings up a few questions because we haven't really identified the CMOs. It's not like we have a list. It's just I've got a list. Okay. Uh, some right, of them, fine. we know. Yeah. No, everyone has on. shown their face. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry, <laughs> but not all. Not all. Yeah, of them. Well, that, that's no. that's the thing. I mean, there there is some names that pops to mind, and uh, they are also in other groups. And a lot of them, you are chatting on a, a semi daily basis uh, on projects and oh. whatnot. So, of course, gathering them in in one group would be cool. It's uh, a bit like the the famous now called classic bad audio podcast which is also just a big whatsapp group um it's a really nice format and then of course the question is how do you arrange it do you just leave it open to anyone of course we have the as you you have the list you <laughs> say but <laughs> and i have some names but i think it was last week you just sent a message that someone that I don't know in America just listened to the podcast and just corrected us on something. And it's like, there is probably people out there listening that at least it's not on my radar. Yeah. Maybe they're not on li your list, but of course, these are the people that we want in to interact with the, the people who actually listen and gives feedback because I mean, it's a, it is a narrow group. Let's be fair. We've seen the numbers from week to week. It's a, <laughs> it's not a stadium yet. Yeah, I think that's nice. It's uh, Vern Makes, by the way, that uh, contacted us in America. Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you very yeah. much. That's uh, very <laughs> yeah. always fun to uh, to learn new things and get yeah. corrected when you are wrong, and then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that made me just think that the MOT thing in 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 uh, in the US is even weirder than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did actually Google it afterwards and uh, fell down in a little bit of a rabbit hole. So now I probably know more about MOT in the United States than <laughs> a lot of other people. Uh, so so yeah. the long and short of it is that there's no common thing in the US that. So in some places you need to check your car regularly, and in some places they see, it seems like they don't care at all about anything. But yeah, in most yeah. places, places they care about the emissions at least. So that's, <laughs> that's the, thing, the one thing I thought they didn't care about over there. But <laughs> yeah, that just show, shows how little I know. <laughs> so that's the plan then. We're going to set up a, a little small mosh pit in the <laughs> in the arena that is the podcast. <laughs> For the true hardcore fans, you mean? <laughs> so, what should we do? Just get the whoever wants to join to um, DM us with their number, and we'll add them to the group. And as yeah, long as everybody know. behaves, they can stay in there. The more, the merrier. I think. I mean, it's yeah. not. Uh, yeah. I'm not for excluding anyone. No, unless they're not very nice people, and then they can go. Yeah, but they listen to us, so they must be lovely. Yeah, probably. of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all then.
Yeah. You just set up a group and people just contact us and we'll add people willy nilly. That's brilliant. Yeah. You yeah. can contact uh, any of us that you feel more more comfortable contacting or just uh, or Glenn. Uh, the pod uh, Instagram. <laughs> Which is Glenn. So don't, don't, if you contact the pod Instagram, don't talk shit about Glenn. <laughs> Thank you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> the other in the group. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, making some new friends. Because, I mean, I know the friends who listen to this. But Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. But hopefully there are some new friends to be made out there. And the 10 first to join will get a special shout out from Glenn. <laughs> and Paul will personally make you something. Personally make your own Helcorder replica. And KJ will make you and KJ run. is and KJ is not upset me, so he's off the hook. <laughs> I'm glad you said that so I didn't have to mute you. (laughs) (laughs) Excellent. Now what? Yeah, what's the the plans uh, for the coming week? I, by the time this comes out, I hopefully will have got my video edited and out there for the Strumstick 3. Um, but making wise, um, the next biggish project I want to make a cabinet for my table saw. Mm. To uh, it's just got a useless folding trolley. It's not a useless folding trolley. It's got a folding trolley underneath it at the moment, so I can fold it up and let it take up less space, which I never use. So I think it'd be uh, far better to have a cabinet under there where I can keep all the push sticks and the table saw related paraphernalia. And make it really, really heavy so we can't move it. <laughs> I'll put wheels on it and I don't need to move it far. <laughs> you said push sticks, but I heard strum sticks. <laughs> <laughs> why same, same. I, <laughs> why have I not made a strum stick shaped push stick yet? A strum stick push stick. Oh, that's the next one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, when this comes out on Saturday. I will Tuesday. hopefully have made a yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> no, yeah, this is the yes, half this pipe. is the half pipe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, then I've had the grueling experience of starting work after holiday. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a bummer. Um, let's not go there. Um, what was he talking about? Yes, shop infrastructure. Um. <laughs> no, haven't planned anything there really. Um, so yeah, one video out. That's the plan. Continue cleaning up the workshop, and yeah, I have a table I should be working on the the famous table that I haven't filmed anything from. So it's gonna be a. It's a guilty pleasure where I thought I'd uh, make a table without filming anything, and now I really regret it. And I still haven't <laughs> found a way of making an intro that makes sense for me to film the second half of it. But we'll see. I might get creative. Do you want me to film an intro for you? That would be amazing. Yep, no Just green screen something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Just find a green background, make an intro, and uh, I'll do some magic in edit. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Crack on. I really la- love it. Uh, I've been in your last two videos. So. <laughs> yeah, and the, the first one was brilliant, but on the, and because the first one was brilliant, on the second one, I just I made a recording. And, ooh, it would have been cool here if I just split it up and have Glenn so, just send you a message. Could you say this and that? And be s- surprised and just send me back. And I got a lot of good content. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, uh, good fun. So, KJ, what are you up to this week? Well, uh, when this episode comes out, I'm in at the last uh, week of my vacation. So it's that's gone cool. really quick for you both, hasn't it? Yeah, it usually does. Uh-huh. It's going to be sad. <laughs> 
But yeah, making progress on the welding table, hopefully. I've been sitting here sketching because when, when Hover was talking about something about his uh, welding table, I got some <laughs> ideas for how to uh, how the next step of mine uh, will go. So that's good. Cool. Got him out of some procrastination. So that's, that's, that's nice. Cool. And I should be starting editing the the rose cage video because that should probably come out when it's still summertime and not when the snow is falling. Uh, I feel. Do you know it's been that long since you since you started that project? I actually couldn't remember whether you'd already made a video or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of it is filmed. I actually managed to film. I hope uh, it was good enough footage when the rose was in bloom. Uh, yeah. So that's nice. As yeah, well. because you did, you did actually send us a, a picture of it finished, so we know it's done. Um, yeah, and it's still standing, so it actually we'll, works. We've not seen a recent picture with a newspaper at the side of it for reference. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the rose is not blooming at the moment, so you can have that as a <laughs> as a reference. Fair enough. <laughs> but that that being said, and I I need to think about which one of the future projects would be most suitable for this because. I think it would be really fun to just make an edit and then just ship it over to you guys and just do the voiceover and then just send it back to me and I'll, of course, fit it in because it, it would be cool yeah. to have a video where someone else is doing the voiceover just taking the piss out of what's happening on screen. <laughs> I would so much more like to do a voiceover for someone else than my own videos. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> because I hate doing it for my own. <laughs> yeah, now I've, I've, maybe that's also why I do the, all, the, all the ramblings in the video talking to myself, because then I don't have to fill the voids with voiceover, because it's really boring and kind of tedious and challenging and hard making a good voiceover for your own videos if you haven't really planned for it <laughs> in advance. Yeah. So uh yeah. I'm not I'm not speaking one word in my new video that I'm making. No no speaking and no bits to camera. <laughs> yeah. And I know I have to do some parts of the rose cage I know is really crappy audio because I was too far away from the microphone and that was uh, when I messed up mostly. I think I want to use the footage, but then I have to um, dub myself or something like that uh, because <laughs> it's not going to be usable. So, yeah, let's well, see if we can do something fun with it instead. At least you have the microphone on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't use a, a, a secondary microphone that can, actually can turn off without me noticing it. Yeah. <laughs> I did actually, uh, I did download a, a like a, a silent movie template but when i made the last edit it's like it's too much work uh, cutting back all the audio and making all the text that you need to make a good silent movie that's also coherent and a bit on topic so yeah save it for next project <laughs> yeah what's worse not Having bad audio, not having, not turning your microphone on, or turning your microphones on, but them not having enough electricity into work. <laughs> Poor old Steve had to do six sets of that <laughs> drumstick playing <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, you really have to be kinder to him. <laughs> I am kind to him. He's a lovely fella. <laughs> <laughs> and he listens as well, so I really do have to be kind to him. <laughs> I mean, I totally agree with the people who says that audio is the most important. You can have real crappy quality video as long as the audio is good. But it, it doesn't help if you have 4K, but the audio is terrible to listen to. Yeah. And of course, bad audio is worse than no audio, because if you don't have audio, then you just slap some music on and make a voiceover. And then that's why that's we don't make it anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Good old times. Yeah. But, I mean, I prefer... I, I sometimes feel sad. No, sad. No. 
I feel feelings. Let's uh, put it at that. Uh, you do. Know. I... You're a robot. You know it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, no, but when I have my watch it's later, like this list... capture test. Do you feel feelings? <laughs> yes, I feel <laughs> many feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I felt three feelings today. Big feelings, small yeah. feelings. Medium feeling. <laughs> All the feelings that you should feel. <laughs> uh, <you> know, um, <laughs> before, before, I mean, a year ago or something like that, I knew that some, some creators uh, were probably not doing... Go on. Uh, I'm trying, but you're laughing too much. Should I mute you, perhaps? Or... No, I'll just let you finish. I'm having a lot of funny feelings. <laughs> yeah, the feelings are... Oh, dear. Could you turn it down to a medium feeling instead of a, a high feeling, perhaps? Oh, recalibrating. Uh, yeah. Nice. Go on, KJ. Tell us about your feelings. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that you had so some channels that you knew probably made uh, a video that didn't have any talking parts and that was really good to have when, I mean when I'm uh, uh, watching over the kids uh, in the bath because that's a really a really noisy environment so you can't really watch a video with sound on it so it's good to have more or less a silent movie to watch but nowadays most people are talking in most videos so you don't have those secure oh i know this one is is silent uh, yeah. so that's i really liked it uh, at the time you when know for those have that. environments that that's a good thing and then there's the other videos where i like to put them on and i know that there's a, a fairly big chance i might fall asleep um and then it's, <laughs> yeah then you have the videos where they're talking in a way that you don't actually need the visual aid of the video. And there yeah. is a few videos where I just put one video on and now I can't watch this because I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. And then I found an old video I, I've seen before from this old Tony and mm. that like just the voiceover in itself is funny. And he's also describing what it's doing. So un unless there is something you haven't seen altogether before, then you can actually follow along with your eyes shut. And of course, it it does help that he has a very comforting voice. So yeah, yeah. He's one of the best to listen to. Yes, he should have a podcast. Definitely. Maybe he has. Does he? I said I maybe. So. I said maybe he has. I don't know. Hmm. Not so I'm going to Google that. I might just call this help something else on the podcast. Yeah, I mean, he could, he could just he could just take all these videos and just dump the audio there as a pod. Yeah. And that's has anybody it. ever seen him? There is some pictures of him, and he yeah. has actually shown oh, himself okay. in a few early videos, so people know how he looks like. But right. yeah, but I try to not remember seeing those pictures because it's more fun to just think of him as hands it's like the before all radio shows were podcasts and vice versa i mean i remember there are a few persons i've, I've listened to on radio for years and then you just finally saw a picture of them and that doesn't match the voice and the picture i have in my head and you get kind of bummed out and I haven't actually, I, I think it was a different podcast and they, they said there are pictures of this old Tony out there, but I did not go looking for it. So I still don't know how it looks like. And that is kind of fun. Yeah. But what I'm more interested in, and I don't know how his workshop looks like because you only have those close up of that specific tool. I have still not seen like a, a full blown view of his workshop, so I don't know how big or small it is. Hmm. I know we have a lot of tools, so there is uh, probably yeah, a decent true. sized garage at least, but yeah. An American garage, so that's. <laughs> yeah. That's a double, isn't it? <laughs> Most likely. 
fantastic to be able to set your, set your own YouTube channel up like that with so much mystery around it. You know, not, yeah, but I mean, they, they, but they still make the it secret so entertaining. There is, the secret there is creating good content. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, <laughs> and being entertaining and informative and nice. Yeah. Tick tick so, yeah. tick. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the boxes. Let's see all my boxes. Why am I not a millionaire, KJ? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Insight, perhaps. <laughs> I think we've got to the bottom of the glass, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, is there another glass under there? Who knows? <laughs> I thought you were going to say good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's probably the best we can say at this point. It is. Yeah. Good or good whatever you're having. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye.